Are you going to let that old Gulch heifer try and buffalo you? <laughs> she ain't nothing to be afraid of. Have a little courage, that's all. Well, I'm not afraid of her. Then the next time she squawks, walk right up to her and spit in her eye. That's what I do. Dorothy? Yes, I'm all right. Oh, I fell in and, and Zeke. Oh. Why, Zeke, you're just as scared as I am. What's the matter, girl? Let a little old pig make a coward out of you? <laughs> Look at you, Zeke. You're just here, right. here. What's all this jabber whopping when there's work to be done? I know three shiftless farmhands that'll be out of a job before they know it. Well, Dorothy was walking along. I and... saw you tinkering with that contraption, Hickory. Now you and Hunt get back to that wagon. All right, Mrs. Gale. But someday they're going to erect a statue to me in this town. Well, and... don't start posing for it now. <laughs> here, here, can't work on an empty stomach, have some crullers. Gosh, oh, Mrs. Thanks. Gale. Just ride. It's what? You see, Dorothy toppled in with the big it's door. It's no place for Dorothy around the pigsty. Now you go feed those hogs before they worry themselves into anemia. Yes, sir. And Ian, really, you know what Miss Gus said she was going to do to Toto? She says she now, was going to... Now, Dorothy, dear, stop imagining things. You always get yourself into a fret over nothing. Now, you just help us out today and find yourself a place where you won't get into any trouble. Some place where there isn't any trouble. Do you suppose there is such a place, Toto? There must be. <laughs> It's not a place you can get to by a boat or a train. It's far, far away. Behind the moon, beyond the rain. <laughs> 